those of you new to this channel and joining us, welcome guys. For those of you returning, welcome back and thank you for your continued support. So as always, the reading that I'm doing here today is a general tarot spread and it may not necessarily resonate with every Piscean watching. In that case, please just take what resonates with you and leave aside what doesn't. Now, for those of you who would like a personal reading with me, please feel free to connect with me. My email address is going to be listed for you at the bottom of the video here where the show more section is along with the different types of readings that I offer and you'll find that those readings resonate with you a lot more closely as they will be personal and will directly relate to you and your situation. So the spread that I'm doing here is intended for Pisces Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus and Rising. Let's take a look at the messages the cards hold for you this week here, being the last week of May. So for your spread you've got the Eight of Cups, the Ace of Swords and the Death card here. Okay, so let's begin with the Eight of Cups here. This is your energy, Pisces. It rules the water signs, and the Eight of Cups is all about emotions, okay? Um, all about emotions and attachments. Now, in the image here, we've got a man who's walking away from the Eight of Cups that stands in the foreground, okay? The cups are arranged and piled in such a way which, um, which appears, which makes it appear as though one is missing here. Okay, this is a sign that there is something that is missing within your connection here, or there is something that's missing within a relationship here. Okay, and uh, for the most part, I feel like a lot of you Pisceans out there have had it. You're fed up, um, and you're ready to walk away from. Um, you're ready to walk away from your special someone here. It's not going to be easy because given his body. Um, mannerisms here, his slouched shoulders, uh, reveal to us some sense of loss or disappointment. Um, I feel like you have a very strong connection to this uh, to this particular person, okay, they may be a fellow water sign and, you know, um, hence that instant attraction and that instant connection here. Um, but I feel like you have a very strong emotional connection, but I just feel like there's something that's missing. There's something within the connection that's missing or something about them just doesn't add up, okay? They may tick off a lot of boxes on your checklist, but they don't tick off everything. And I feel like there's something that's very important to you, a very important value um, or character trait that they, they, that they fail to, um, that they fail to um, exhibit here, okay? Now, I feel like this has been a long time coming as well, Pisces. Okay, I feel like within this connection, you've been putting in a lot of time, you've been investing a lot of emotional energy, perhaps even your resources, um, and I just don't feel like this person has appreciated. I feel like they've taken you for granted, they've taken your kind and gentle nature for granted. Um, at times, they may have even taken you as someone who's very weak-willed here, okay? Um, because of your kindness. Sometimes kindness gets misinterpreted for weakness here. So I feel like this person has taken advantage of you in some in some way in, in so many ways here. Um, but you're at a stage in your life where I feel like you're ready to prioritize your happiness here. Okay, you're ready to prioritize your happiness. I feel like with the Ace of Swords that follows next, you've been fighting this. You've been fighting the temptation to emotionally distance yourself from this person. You've been fighting the urge to, you know, not respond to the texts or not uh, pick up their phone calls. But each and every time you cave, you give in. Um, I feel like because this person's got a very hold, like a very strong hold on you. Okay, there's a very it's almost like they exert some sort of dominance over you or it's almost like, you know, you're really enchanted by this person. There's a very strong emotional connection here, Pisces, and possibly even a very strong mental connection. And um, look, you might have had a lot of history with this person. Um, this person could be a twin flame or a soulmate connection here. Um, this person could be the one. But unfortunately, I just feel like there's still something missing here, Pisces. There's something missing. So for some of you, look, you could be at a stage where you're ready to emotionally distance yourself. And again, I feel like even if you do this and go down this avenue here, Pisces, you're doing it because there is still a part of you that's hoping that if you pull away, they will come forward, you know? If you um, if you distance yourself, they will step up to the plate and take initiative. There's still that there's still that part of you, even if it's just a very small part of you, there's still some part of you that wishes... Um, that wishes for them, that wishes that they would, you know, reach out and um, 
we try to make things all better basically okay so either you're emotionally distancing yourself from someone this week or you're at a stage where you're ready to walk away you've had it um, you know you've um, you've tried time and time again you've tried you've put in a lot of work into this connection and a lot of your emotional energy has been drained and you know it's been depleted here Pisces um, and it's taken a toll on you Pisces so I feel like You've had it now, okay? The Ace of Swords, this is air energy and it governs mental energy, rules the size of Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So this person could be an air sign or have air within their natal chart. I feel like you're cutting ties. You're, you're cutting ties, um, you're cutting connections here, um, you're distancing yourself emotionally, or some of you, um, you know, you're so fed up, you're so fed up and you've had it with this person that you're ready to com um, confront them, okay? You're just ready to tell them exactly what it is, how you feel, how they're treated you how they're mistreating you how they're taking you for granted um, you're just going to lay it out on all on the table because some of you feel like you've hit emotional like uh, you've hit an emotional um, rock bottom so it's like what else do I have left to lose so you're just gonna lay it all out on the table again I feel like even if you do that Pisces there's still a part of you that's hoping that okay if I just buried my all that they will turn around and um, that they will turn around and see, you know, how much heart and how much, um, how much energy you've put into this connection. And you're hoping that's going to change something here, okay? The Ace of Swords also tells me that someone here is fighting their feelings, okay? It could be you here. You could be fighting the the urge to, you know, uh, the urge to return their calls, the urge to respond to the, their texts, the urge to, you know, pick up the phone and connect with them. Um, you could be you could be fighting your feelings for this person, okay? And you're going to try really hard this week. I find that it's going to it's going to take a lot of effort, Pisces, but you can do it. Nothing is you know nothing is impossible. The word itself spells I am possible. So I feel like for a lot of you, it's going to it's going to demand a lot of energy here and a lot of effort. But you're going to try and fight the urge to um, to uh, to reach out to this person to connect with your special someone here. You want to cut ties. And you're trying to fight your feelings as well. You're trying to fight your feelings for them. You're trying to, it's like you're trying to convince yourself, I don't love this person or I deserve better. You know, he or she doesn't, uh, you know, she or she doesn't deserve to be in my life. The energies could be interchangeable. And this is your special someone. Okay. Maybe they know that the two of you, that the two of you don't necessarily work. Okay. Or maybe they are aware that, you know, due to your current um, circumstances, that this could never be. So maybe it's them trying to fight their feelings for you. You know, maybe they're not necessarily, they could be falling in love with you. They could be deeply infatuated with you. And they don't want that. They don't want that. It seems as if they're either a very uh, flighty type of energy here, or it just seems as if this is someone who's not ready to fall in love. And um, and I feel like they're, they're trying really hard here. They're struggling, but they're fighting their feelings here. The last card here is the death, okay? And I feel like Pisces, this card hasn't showed up in your spread for quite some time, if my memory serves me correctly here, okay? Now with the death card, this is um, an ending, okay? This is an ending to something. But an ending is often a new beginning, okay? This is a turn of the page. This is um, a new chapter here, okay? This is a new cycle. There's a corpse that rides in, in black, um, that rides on a white horse in black armor here. And... Um, there is, is a skeleton. Is a skeleton. The corpse is a skeleton. Again, he symbolizes the Reaper. Okay, and of course, which represents death here. All around him, there is a priest. There are children here, but um, you know, everyone seems to be um, everyone seems to be fallen to the ground here. Okay, it symbolizes here that well, this is an ending in all its form here. However, it's the bishop, the priest that stands there in the front of, in front of death, and he represents the faith. He represents faith in the face of death here. Okay. Um, what I also like is the rising sun in the background here. This represents a new, a new day, a new dawn, a new beginning. Okay. Um, so I feel like for some of you, maybe this is a chance. By you trying to end things or by you trying to emotionally disconnect or distance yourself from this person or perhaps even by you trying to cut off all ties, this is going to make them view the connection in a different light. Okay, this is going to try and see them, you know, to 
trying this is gonna um, let them see you differently okay and you know what they say you don't know what you have until it's gone it's going to be a case of that basically so you might find that this is going to reverse engineer things for you you may find that all of a sudden that this will give this person a bit of a wake-up call this, so this could be an ending okay for many of you it is an ending okay you're ending the connection here you're um, you're ready to say goodbye and you're ready to walk away from someone here. Again, Pisces, it's not going to be easy, but for some of you, you know it, it just needs to be done. Whilst for others of you, this emotional distance that you're going to put between the two of yourself um, and this, uh, you know, even emotionally detaching yourself from this person, I feel like in some ways it's going to... Um, it's going to rejuvenate your connection here. It's going to... Maybe it will allow you to see things differently, you know, and maybe you will re-enter this connection, but maybe you won't, maybe you won't be as um, wholeheartedly invested in this connection. Maybe you'll allow room for them to step up to the plate as well. You know, it's relationships are a two-way street, okay? It takes two to tango here, Pisces. So for some of you, it is an ending in all its form. You know, you're ending the connection. You're ending a relationship and you're ending all communication. It's like out of sight, out of mind, Pisces. But for others of you, you're emotionally distancing yourself from this person. Okay? You're giving it, you're gonna give it some time and some space to think on it, and you'll find that this person is going to come to a realization here, okay, to a sudden realization, and you'll find that this person is going to um, step up to the plate. Okay, so in many ways it's going to revive your connection here. Okay, and it may even, things may even work better the second time around here, Pisces. Okay, guys, and that pretty much sums up your spirit. So as always, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And please don't forget to share, like, dislike, or comment below. Now, for those of you that do want that reading with me, feel free to connect. Otherwise, please, everyone, keep safe and stay well out there.